Hey YouTube, welcome back to another edition of Broken Big Boy Toys. Today in the garage we have a ZX-10R 2006 and we're having some issues with uh, the front brake lever being way too squishy. Um, changed it over to 5.1 uh, brake fluid, didn't do anything. I could have some air in the uh, line in the master here. I didn't bleed it from that time the last time I did it. Um, but I figured, well, I'm going to have to re-bleed everything. I went out and bought a pair of, uh, Galford, uh, brake lines. I bought the stainless steel ones, but they're smoked, so they look black like the originals. I don't want the bike to be, uh, modified. The bike's got originally 30, 3,200 miles or something on it. 3,342 miles on it, which is original. So I, I don't want to modify the bike. I want it to stay pretty much original. So that's why I, I wanted the ability to have stainless steel uh, lines, but I didn't want to have it look like it had stainless steel lines. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the brake lines front and rear, uh, bleed it again, and hopefully that'll give us uh, a good lever if not maybe it's in the master cylinder i don't know um but it never hurts to have stainless steel brake lines on it the pads obviously the bike's only got 3300 miles on it the pads are perfectly fine um everything's perfectly fine so we just switched out the cbr 1000 put this in the garage and uh we're gonna do this i'm gonna do it tomorrow morning i don't want to do it now because i don't want to start taking the bike apart um we're in our second week of uh, the COVID-19 uh, basic pandemic where we're uh, quarantined to the house. Not because we're sick, because America's sick. So we're sick of being in the house. So we're going to work on bikes and cars during this uh, time. Uh, I guess it's better than going to the office and being a lawyer. Um, more fun to work on bikes so uh, stay tuned hopefully we'll get this thing right um, so that we can uh, ride it uh, through the season I'm not riding a bike with brakes like this if not I'll have to figure out what else is wrong with it so stay tuned we'll do a step-by-step um, -step on the bike and uh, go from there okay the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take off this bolt here which holds a bracket onto the brake line so that I can just kind of loosen it and pull it down when I happen to really fight it because these are covered in rubber um, to make it kind of hard to pull so that's what I'm going to do first okay I've removed the bracket and now I'm going to come up and disconnect the banjo bolt from the bottom of the uh, master I pulled the front fender because you can't get these stupid clips off from with the fender on because they the way they hold in so basically you you take that and then you just kind of push it in from the back and they'll, they'll kind of walk in you can see it but it wouldn't pull out from the top I can't really do it with the camera in my hand but these kind of have to just push in once you get one then the other side should push hold the camera these things are real a nightmare to try to get out As you can see, they don't come out from that way. So you have to actually pull the stupid fender thing.
Okay. Now, once you have that off, they open up like this and just split out. Okay. Same thing goes for this one. That's that bar what we had. It's gonna have to twist off and then pull the rubber out. I think the rubber will come out. No, I'm not positive. part of the original line or won't but it's got to come out and just stick it back in when the line's there all right so we're just lining them all up the way they should be I have the fender sitting back on there and what I'm gonna do is just get this roughly where it is then I'll put that plastic piece on then I'll really snug them in all right, so we have this routed the way we think it should be back to kind of how the factory had it. I'm not sure if they uh, wanted it to have dual um, wires coming out of the master or not. That's not how the bike was set up normally, so hopefully this will work. All right, so we've got it somewhat bled. Seems like we're getting a better pedal, lever, whatever. Uh, pretty much right at the beginning now I'm going to still try to bleed a little bit more I'm going to try to bleed it more at that master again see what happens all right so we got a nice lever now I mean we're nowhere near where we were before where that was uh, hitting the bars I mean it's stopping pretty good now so I'm gonna leave it for now I'll do the rear set and then maybe I'll ride it and then maybe bleed them again okay we're gonna start on the back one bolt here one bolt here this is gonna be the biggest pain in the neck to get out because I tried pushing it already and it doesn't want to come out so uh, that's gonna probably fight me uh, I'll fight with that for a minute off camera see if I can get that off if not, I'm going to have to improvise after I get it out. Okay. okay, so I pushed it basically off with a screwdriver. It's again another just a rubber piece. Goes around that, but it holds it in place. I'm just going to take these off, put it in. So we got a little bit of a pedal already. Hit that. Well, not even a little bit of a pedal. I mean, we have a pedal. It's just the problem of trying to get this hose to stay in the bottle. So, Greg can pump it. Yeah. Ready? Mm-hmm. Good. Hold it. That's a good one. Go ahead. The pedal already? Yeah, I'm getting it as soon as I let it back up. Go. I'm gonna have to add some more fluid to that. Yep. Ready? Yep. That was a good shot. Alright, All right. All right, just stay up. Sorry. So basically, the rears are done. Just wiping off all the oil, but I mean, pedal's right there. So. It's not that hard to do a rear. I mean, the line's really short. It's not like the front that's got two different lines and three different bleed points. This has just got one. Uh, had a little bit of air, not much, just from changing the line. But uh, wipe everything down. I have a little brake clean I put on it, but I'm going to wipe it down with detail spray too, just to make sure there's nothing on it. And... Uh, Put the rest of the uh, stuff back on the front. Thanks for watching.
Broken Big Boy Toys is another Big Boy Toy fix. It's going back in the garage and waiting for the weather to break. Thanks for watching.